guys. Hi guys. We've arrived in Cooper PD. Which stands for White Man in a Hole. So that's Aboriginal, um, the Aboriginal name for it. So Funny name, but yeah. Cooper PD uh, was uh, narrowly missed by Stuart in about 1858 and then discovered by a young 14 year old boy, Willie Hutchison, I think it was, in 1915. So him and he, a group of uh, the people he was with were prospecting for gold, didn't have any luck doing that and then apparently kicked over a pebble and found opal and that was the start of opal fever in Cooper Pedy. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to go and check out some things in Cooper Pedy, uh, check out how the mining's done here, noodle for some opals, um, check out the, how they live here, which they live underground, which is a pretty unique sort of thing because of the heat and the dust and the flies. So we're going to check out um, how they live and yeah, so come along, follow us on this episode and check out Cooper Pedy with us. And don't forget, hit that subscribe, give us a like and give that notification bell a bit of a tap. Cooper Pedy is truly unlike anything we have ever seen before. When you first hit the outskirts you witness the changed landscape, completely terraformed through 80 years of opal mining. Giant mullock heaps dot the landscape, extending right into the heart of the township, created by huge dozers and powerful blowers, sucking the raw material from deep within the earth's layers, form a weirdly eerie lunar landscape. Amongst tons of mining waste, houses and shops have been established, mostly hidden beneath the surface, escaping the blistery 50 degree heat, which can occur in the summer months. They provide a protective haven for the town's residents, whom a large majority are made up from generations of dedicated opal miners, all with a passion to hunt for opal this unique, dazzling, colourful gemstone that creates such a fiery fever in the ongoing hunt to strike it lucky. Any opal, I'm sure it'd be taken out. That's what all these little pockets are. <laughs> He's been dying to see this, so I'm waiting for him to come around the corner. Here you go. <laughs> it's black. Let's check it out. Ooh. 
waterfalls. Wow. Um, <laughs> we used to um, ventilate the shafts. Yeah. So it would blow air down and keep the shaft ventilated. Interesting. Right, so this is how the miners climbed up and down their holes. You missed the kitchen. Using these uh, steps dug into the side and then scaling up the wall like little monkeys. And it's one of those cow hole eggs. Like they used to be able to work those easier than the metal drum because they had to drag them along the shaft. So. Awesome. And it's somewhere you can go where you don't have to put on any makeup. You can go in your pajamas. You can go in your um, slippers, even. <laughs> oh my. You don't going? have to do anything special to go. Where are we going? Let's go and see. So, our date includes something that you can do in the car. We yeah. haven't done this for many years. <laughs> oh, it's kind of. Can you guess what we're at, doing? We've got neighbours watching too. Uh oh. Uh oh. They're doing it too. They're doing, are they? I don't, I don't see it. I can hear music. It's been a can long you, time since we've done this. It is a long time. Can you guess what we're doing yet? Can right, you guess? Here we are. Drive-in movie theatre. Uh-oh. How long has it been since we did this? Uh, Mid-80s. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.
lifted up the dirt in front. This is probably about 100 million years ago. So this lifted up, there's gaps underneath. Now the gaps don't fill up with opal, they just tell us that the land is blue. And that's what we're interested in. When you're selling your jewellery for an open buyer, it's going to be all the same. So if you have variation, they might like that. Uh, okay. So this is our opal crumbler. Verticals are the best. We'll get to that in a second. scallop this is a uh, this is a small pipe look at the nice color and this would be like for your daughter or something instead of coming from that it's just a baby one it's just a like boobs <laughs> they're everywhere <laughs> Lockup, police lockup, and you can see they've got the hole there going in the underground there, and then there's a couple of buildings on the outside left. But basically, uh, the solid oval is just a pure stone as it comes out of the ground, and all we do is uh, shape and polish the stone up, and effectively that's it. So uh, whatever comes out of the ground, what you see is what you get. So what we're trying to do is uh, grind this into a nice shape, and also uh, expose the best colour we possibly can and the solids are more valuable because obviously it's all over and the bright intense colour so what we look for is uh, bright colour obviously big colour patterns are more valuable than little sprinkles of colour and also colour consistency so when you're moving the stone around if it's got colour all the time it's going to be more valuable than something that the colour appears and disappears or you know big flashes still can be expensive but they've got to maintain that colour the doublets are two pieces, and it's like a laminate. Yeah, there's opal on the surface on top, and there's a dark backing on the back. Okay, so the dark backing shows it up. Oops, I'm sorry. It's all right. The dark backing shows it up the best. Uh, it gives it more contrast, and when the opal is cut thin, 
it becomes transparent, so you can see through the silica, through the opal. So that, that contrast like, makes the colour look brighter. It doesn't change it, it just makes it darker. Of course, the doublets are cheaper because there's less opal in it. So you can see it's only a very thin, thin laminate on top. The triplets are three pieces or three layers. They've also got black packing on them, which is usually glass. And on top is like a, a, a clear glass cap, and that cap magnifies the colour. And the whole purpose of that is to make it look a lot, give it more brightness, more colour. But the opal is only very thin, but it's not, 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 not much opal. So something like this is about 50 bucks. Whereas something like this is about 200, and something like this is 2,000. Oh, how do you measure it? Like when you're if you're grading it into carrots, or is it? The you carrot, know? yeah, the carrots are the weight of the stone. Okay. Also, oh, in weight, it's not size, it's weight. Well, yeah, it's the same. Okay. It sort of translates. Not okay. the doubles and triples. You don't really weigh the, the carrots off. Yeah. It's the solids which mm -hmm. are the carrot weight. Yeah. Finer and finer and finer and finer gets. This is 280. This is 600, 400, 3000. This is a rough approximation of the shape. Mm -hmm. And this one obviously grinds less, so seeing the shape a little bit better. Give all those pressures, 1300. Rid of all the scratches. All right, well, we've arrived at the common noodling pits. So, this is all stuff that they apparently they started the mining here years ago, and then they, it was banned from being mined in town. And then they didn't know what to do with all this rubbish, and they weren't going to give it to just one person, so then they decided to make it a public noodling hole so you can come out here and noodle you don't have to have a license to noodle out here through all the heaps so we're gonna check it out and see whether we can get lucky see if we can find opal holic <laughs> how do we go digging for opals well this is a noodling pit this is like all been dug up previously and okay so no how do we real, noodle there's no real skill it's like dig in see if something catches your eye and yeah, hope, good so luck. What tools have you got? Uh, so I've just got a little shovel and got my mining pick here to sort of break it away a bit. It's very soft, so it's easy digging. There's no real skill because you're not really looking for anything in particular, like to actually dig, like as in geology wise, because it's all been, it's all previous mullet heaps that have been dug up, pulled up, so you're just going through other people's. Work. Okay, so what do you got here? You got a sieve? Yeah, sieve. Okay. Sieve out the dust. Do it upwind. You've got a bucket of water too to sort of check stuff. That's the We're just driving through the sites now to have a bit of a look at what goes on in here. So, um, miners can peg out uh, what was the biggest commercial peg was 100 by 200 I think 100 by 200 was it yeah or the normal one that they get is uh, 100 by 50 meters so they can peg those out but the thing is that you can then get you know all your family wife cousins uncles aunts whatever yes, to yes. claim uh, sites as well so then they have these great big adjoining lots because they've got you know all these sites pegged out so there's one of the site pegs there and the direction so that that one actually looks like it goes across the road that's one of the pest holes that they do we're just out here in the field having a bit of a look at it we've got all these all these little mounds are all holes that have been dug and people have gone through them mining We're at Cooper Pedy and we're drawing our luck at some opal mining. There's two ways to opal mine in Cooper Pedy. So each, everywhere we've been has got different kind of mining. So here, there's two ways of mining. You can get a ton of equipment and pay a 
bucket load of money <laughs> for excavators and tunnel equipment and drills and stuff like that. Well, you know, we're only here for a holiday, so we can't afford that. And then the other way is called noodling. And noodling apparently was derived because um, men who were too weak to go dig their own hole <laughs> go and noodle on all the, um, sh all the shalings from the holes of other people. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. And uh, in Cooper Pedy, the opal is like very white, so it actually shines up with this um, black light. So we've got some black lights. We're out at night because it's easier to find it at night with these black lights than it is digging during the day. So here we are. Anyway, got a big thunderstorm coming through. <laughs> We're yeah. up on top yeah. of a, a great big shaling pit. Anyway, yes, Paul, that is Phil. thunder, guys. So here um, we've got this. We found a couple of things here. So see how they shine up with the black light. So it is dark. It's in late at night and there you can see and then there's an afterglow. Uh, so we decided to go noodling <laughs> and um, it's raining dirt. It's raining dirt. <laughs> it's actually raining and there's a dust storm uh. at the same time. This is just like <laughs> unbelievable. I feel like I'm on a totally different planet. So this is just coming into Cooper Pedy. We've just come from out of the fields. Look at it, it's crazy. Just blowing a gale and the wind and the dust and the wind is just mad. Look at it. This is why they live underground. <laughs> the heat and the dust and the wind. Ugh. Alright, so we've done a little bit of noodling, really haven't had a great deal of luck. Um, most of this is pot shell here, so this is like a mussel shell, but it's just the plain pot. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> so this, it's just the plain sort of opal, basically they call it pot, but that looks like it's been like a mussel shell or something. Carol found a balamite, or we believe it's a balamite, so just a tubular shape but doesn't have any colour in it, We're unfortunately. It's only the plain opal as well, but still pretty pretty cool to find that. So there's a little bit of colour in that little piece. I mean, it's still got a lot of potch on the top there, but we can see a couple of little bits of colour. I mean, it's not really worth any money, but still, at least it was a bit of colour. Uh, this one, pretty old sort of piece, got a little bit of purple in it. A tiny little flick there with some colour, you can probably see there. Just that colour, see all along the top there. And um, there's that little bit there as well with some colour, colour in it too, so... That's our, that's our net worth for our little trip so far, so... There we go, so I don't think we're going to get rich off noodling. <laughs> we'll have to stick to our day jobs. <laughs> Well guys, that's it from us, from Cooper Pedy. We have had an absolute ball here. We got to walk down memory lane and go to the drive-in theatre, done some noodling and found a few opals. We've checked out all the working mines in the area, got to some knowledge on opal mining and the history. So if you're coming up to Cooper Pedy, make sure you check those places out. As always, if you're liking our stuff, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and a like, and hit the notification bell for our next video. See you on the road, guys.